George Osborne donning a hard hat for a tour of a construction site today. But the main reason for the Chancellor's visit to Norwich was rooted here, at the city's train station. The long-running campaign to speed up rail services was thrust back into the spotlight as Mr Osborne announced he'd set up a Norwich in 90 rail task force to look at cutting journey times to the east. Norwich in 90 could be achieved under the new franchise due to start in 2016, but the Chancellor would not be drawn on a specific time frame for the improvements. Well, the first thing is we've got to see what the time, practical timetable is. I don't want to make a promise I can't deliver, but I can promise you that we are taking this deadly seriously now. There is this group. They're going to report to us on what we can do. And that is, that is, that is the goal we set ourselves, to speed up the rail links. And what is happening right now is the refurbishment of the existing trains. So lots of things going on to show that uh, this government and excellent local Conservative MPs like Chloe are supporting this region. Mr Osborne said the task force would build on the work of local MPs such as Chloe Smith. It would be made up of MPs, network rail experts and government transport officials. Some may be sceptical. The phrase Norwich in 90 has been used plenty of times before, but the Chancellor insisted Norfolk would start to see progress. Well, first of all, you will see the refurbishment of the trains happening uh, in the next uh, couple of years. So that's, so that's going to happen right now. Second, uh, what you've seen is a promise to do something about the A11. That is underway. It's going to be completed uh, next year. You've seen a promise that we would improve, improve the trains on the East Suffolk line. That has happened and there are many more frequent trains. You saw a promise that we'd improve education both at the university and in the town, for, in the city for schools. That's happening around us. So we make promises, we deliver promises, and that's because we've got an economic plan that enables us to afford these things because we fix the economy. It wasn't just trains on the Chancellor's agenda. He was given a tour of Norwich's former fire station in Bethel Street, which is in the process of being transformed into the Sir Isaac Newton Free School sixth form. He spoke to bosses at construction company Wilmot Dixon and paused to talk with young apprentices. Earlier, he'd visited businesses in Lowestoft, speaking of his desire to drive growth in the region. One of the reasons I'm here in Norfolk and Suffolk today is to make sure that as our economy recovers, this part of the country benefits, that jobs are created here, businesses do well here, and that means the government investing taxpayers' money in important infrastructure, whether it's rail links, whether it's new roads and the widening of existing roads, or whether it's schools like this fantastic free school here in the centre of Norwich. These are all essential parts of getting the ingredients right so that as Britain grows, it's not just the city of London that succeeds, as was the case uh, 10 years ago, but the whole of the country succeeds. A key part of that success in our region may depend on the speed of our trains. The Rail Task Force has been charged with finding ways of speeding up services by as much as 25%. Norfolk will be watching and waiting to see that that happens. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, Norwich.